To take us further in the conference, I want to invite the first speaker. I want us to rise as I welcome to the podium a prophet of God in the land of Benue. Pastor Mrs. Mary Ochengele. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Um, it's a great honor and privilege to be here tonight. Um, thank God for my husband especially. It's impossible to do ministry without his support. Mm -hmm. And it's very rare to see men who just allow you flow without um, interrupting the power of God. I celebrate him. He's a great man indeed. Hallelujah. I appreciate God also for my father, my friend, my brother. A lot of times I find it difficult to know who he is to me. Some might say, your, your brother, your friend. I say, no, 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 no. He's my father in the Lord. But there are times I sit, I feel he's my brother. I know that's when we mingle in the tribe level. Hallelujah. So he's so many things to me. And my friend and daughter, we also mix up like that too. Hallelujah. And Apostle Gideon. It's been a blessing to me. I listen to his messages a lot. And my personal prophet, every morning, he sends me something to keep me going. Amen. Praise the Lord. And he's always on point. Hallelujah. And for all of you, I've, I'm, I'm so, um, it's a great privilege and honor to be here indeed. All the ministers in the house, I greet you in Jesus' name. And all those who have been praying and have been getting bombarded with your prayers. Sometimes I literally born with the fire of God when I feel the intensity of your prayers. Hallelujah. And I pray that that fire, somebody will contact you tonight. Um, part of the assignment that we have on net is to not just carry that fire, but translate it to a generation. And I pray that someone here who's desperately in need of that fire will get it tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to, your expectation to be high, not to look at me. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Mama, I came in and she said, you are dressed like the altar. I said, wow, praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> you know, women, we notice those things. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Two years ago, I stood here to say that while I was waiting for the word of God, for the Lord, I mean, for the horizon, about two years ago, all I saw was darkness coming upon the horizon. And I, I think I spoke it here too. And I, I, each time I go for meetings, I say, let's pray and push the darkness. But that darkness was impregnable. It was so strong. It was uh, from meeting to meeting, I kept praying. But brethren, towards the end of last year, suddenly in an open vision, I saw light coming out of that darkness. The light broke forth. It kept shining in its intensity. Shining in its intensity until it swallowed up the darkness. Brethren, don't worry about the things you're seeing around you. The light has come. The light has come. Thank you, Jesus. Everything you saw walking around, the systems of darkness that concocted themselves into what you call church, into what you call ministry, into what you call government, the light of God began to break forth upon it. It broke forth until it shone. And as the days went by, I saw that the light was becoming stronger. And guess what? You are part of that party of light. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The stronger you are, the better for us. Amen. The stronger you are, the better for us because we are moving ahead. Amen. Tonight, a lot of things God revealed to me over time, I'll be speaking to you. I don't know which one will relate with you, but please listen in your spirit, and I'm sure you will touch something tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. As that happened, the Lord led me to the book of um, Isaiah 43. Amen. Let's open to that place. Isaiah 43. Now, at a point in this meeting, by the grace of God, I don't know, maybe tonight or when other ministers are on the podium a river will come in a very mighty river it's a river but it's also fire somebody caught it there it's a river but it's also fire 
and it will baptize. It will not just flow in Benue State. It's going to flow across the continents. It will flow from here, but it will flow across the continents. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Isaiah 43, if you are there. Amen. And the Lord led me to Isaiah 43, um, 18. He said, remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The beast of the field shall honor me and the dragons and the oaths because I give waters in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my people, my chosen. Praise the Lord. The darkness is the former thing. Hallelujah. Hey, the darkness is a thing of, oh, something new it has been happening. I, I, I looked around and I began to, as I drove around to put down, I now saw Deeper Life banner. It says, is it a new beginning or something? And then I heard that of another minute. I said, ah, this new thing, is, is, God is confirming it. If you, if you click into your spirit, you know that God is doing something new. Hallelujah. So um, let every one of us be part of this, you know, encounter that is going to take us and make us, even as apostles say, into another man, the different men that we are. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Um, some time ago too, we're praying in church and interceding for the body of Christ, interceding for the body of Christ. And suddenly, I saw that the Lord had left that old structure we had been interceding for. And there was a movement. Everybody moved towards a new structure. The old structure was abandoned. And I tell you, since then, I've not been able to pray for the way we intercede as in the body of Christ. Something new is happening. Hallelujah. Something new is happening. The, the, the powers of darkness hijacked that old structure. Hijacked the structure that God put himself before. But now, something is happening. There's a massive flow. And let, it, let me announce to you, it can't be stopped. Nothing can stop it. If you believe it, say amen. amen. I say if you believe it, say amen. amen. There is a movement. There is a movement. I saw a movement. You can't, nothing can turn them back. Nothing can frustrate them. Nothing can waken them. Nothing can, you know, nothing can intimidate them. We are moving. And if you are part of that train, say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's springing forth. The Bible says, can't you feel it? Can't you see it? It's springing forth. It's springing forth already. And some time ago, I had a stream. In the church, sometimes it's in vision, sometimes it's in open dreams, but this one was in church. And suddenly, a man came upon the pulpit and was preaching. He was wearing the regalia of a bishop. And mama ran because she was suddenly despised and rejected. She ran to a scaffold and hid. And only those who were pure of heart could assess her. In fact, you could only assess her if she, if she knew your heart. I mean, if she knew your heart was pure. So even if you wanted to get to her, you couldn't, except your spirit was pure. And when I woke up, I said, what manner of dream is this? And the Lord said, the regalia of the bishop is the present state of the church. Mama represented the Holy Spirit. The Holy Ghost had not left the church, but it was in the scaffold. You only assess if you press hard enough, because you needed to climb some steps to get to him. And then when he sees that your heart is ready, he will give you room. In fact, in that vision, only two people could assess her. Oh and she, because there was a knowing inside of her that these ones are pure. Hallelujah. Take steps in this meeting to assess the who goes. Assess him. Because he will see, he judges by the Bible says there is one that weighs spirit. He weighs, he's aware of spirit. He will weigh your spirit, the intensity, the purity, and will get at him in this meeting in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Even though she was initially despised and rejected, but it was a face that passed on. The Holy Ghost didn't completely leave us. He hid himself in the church system as it is now. But as many whose hearts are pure are able to get at him in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Again, I saw in the dream of the night, as Apostle walked into the, he was in the church, and um, there was a man that represented the old system, and the man began to confront him. Now, these are stages. We are moving from stage to stage. All of this, I'm telling you, is a progression in the spirit that is, you know, it's been taking place, and the climax of faith will happen in this conference in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Now, there was a time I was praying, I think a few days ago, was it yesterday? I, I had a ball of fire. You know, when they said tongues of fire rested on the disciples, you know, our children's story made it look like the size of a tongue. But for the first time, I saw the real size. It's like the size of my head, but it's in the shape of like a tongue. And it rested upon my head. And as I'm speaking now, it's come again. There's so much fire around my head. Now, I want your spirit man to be sensitive. God is going to, according to your level and according to the stage you are, God is going to be doing different things. Some of you, you are not waiting for two, three days. The power of God will begin to touch you wherever you are. As you're listening to me, there, there will be translations that are taking place for some people already. Hallelujah. And two years ago, something came into the meeting, but there was a curfew in town that hijacked you know, and stopped. Let me not say hijack, it stopped the meeting. As we're preparing for this conference, all of the regalia that we needed, including the sword that came in there, that sword also came in. And it's here to divide, to separate, to prepare men. Some of you will be given instruments of war that will prepare you for your you know, ministry, prepare you for the work of God for your life. I was into the vision that, you know, Apostle had a, you know, had a confrontation with what stood for the old. You know, in the spirit realm, you don't have to talk to be heard. The two of them were talking, but they were not speaking words. And what Apostle said to him is that you will never speak. In fact, when the person got up, who representing the old structure, his utterance was that you can't talk. And Apostle's utterance to him was, you will never be heard again you are shut down. You will never be heard. Amen. Now, the person that represented the wife went to the pulpit trying to speak, but the microphone was no longer working. There is a new voice in the realm of the spirit. There is a new voice. And the spirit of God decided to use him as a picture of that movement. And I pray that you key in and align to that voice in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, the fire is growing in intensity as I speak. It's growing in intensity. And I hope that you are sensitive enough if he comes, please don't be too organized. Thank God for a place like this. We are not too organized for the Holy Spirit. Just yield yourself to whatever the Lord, you know, wants for you. And the voice of that system is shut down. Now, when things began to happen some time ago, on the social media, people were sad. It looked as if what happened in the book of 1 Samuel was beginning to happen again. Hallelujah. It looked as if the ark of the covenant of the Lord had been captured from the temple. But just before that event took place, guess what? Just like God had moved from the old structure to a new one, God had moved camp. He had moved his presence from the ark to a personality called Samuel. The Bible says Samuel, Samuel grew in favor with God and with man. The Samuels have been growing in the place of prayer. I don't know if you are part of them. Samuel has been growing. He's been fasting. He's been praying. He's been looking unto God. While Eli's eyes have gotten dim and he was waxing old, Samuel has been growing. He's been growing in the place of fasting, in groaning, in separation, in consecration. Samuel has been growing. He looks as if he's young and he doesn't have a voice, but he's been growing. He's been growing and he's waxing stronger, waxing stronger until his day came and the voice of God called unto him, even though he didn't understand that voice, he ran to the man of God and said, you called me. He said, I didn't call you. He said, go lie again. He lay again and when he broke out, he came back again. Somewhere, 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 the voice of God had moved camp. The ark, the presence of God that was in the ark has suddenly moved. It moved and rested upon one young boy called Samuel. Ah, we may be young, we may be in caves, we may not be known, but Samuel is growing, Samuel is growing, Samuel is growing until he's, he has become to recognize the voice of God. And not just recognize, he has become the oracle of the Most High. And the Bible says, God appeared again in Shiloh. Which means God left Shiloh. Now, the body of Christ. Oh, Makoya Namasotayabada. 
reposi kata ya makando mila sota ya makato sheleba itos ila hanto sheba labada repesa katole makanta bashia eh akazota ya makanda bashia so much shame so much embarrassment satan has made a mess meet of us but somewhere was growing all this while somewhere was growing and his season has come the season of Samuel has come all trance was given unto him and he spoke the things that were the mind of God and while the people wept the people cried the people wept and they cried because they thought the ark had been captured but somewhere had heard the voice of God and God had revealed himself to somewhere through the word of God in Shiloh I announce to you a new season. I announce to you a new season. The season that somewhere is able to hear from God. The season of the new moves of God. The season where God has left the old structure and is working with men and women that their hearts and their spirits are pure. Their hearts and their spirits are pure. Mali kabosi katayama And for a while for a while it seemed as if after that encounter apostle went to sleep he slept and when he woke up he was refreshed he needed one thing to carry him through it was a song it was a song the lord will give us that song tonight when we sing it there is a presence that will come there is a glory I can feel the river coming. I can feel the river coming. Lord help me. I haven't started what the river is coming. The river is coming. Ah, I was in prayer one of those days and God said my people have committed two evils one they have abandoned me the fountain of living waters and they have carved out cisterns for themselves that cannot hold water for wrong Lord tonight as a church we return to the fountain of living waters for the Bible says you are the Lord the fountain of living waters we return to you for that flow we return to you again ah we separate ourselves from regulations and doctrines that does not add anything to our spirituality we connect to your spirit we connect to your spirit we connect to your spirit one of the days as i prayed i began to groan and bet in the spirit and bet in the spirit and an angel was revealed and the name of that angel was called global what is taking place here tonight is a global thing it will move to all the continents for some other day i also saw that the fire i saw one that ran through the five continents with fire they ran with a touch of fire all over the continents i saw the five rings that represent the five continents from today this fire will move to all of the continents of the world some of you here will carry it some of you here will carry it you will carry it as you speak tonight the way is made for your visa sir. the nations call you the nations call you the nations call you in Lakota Sakatole Makanta restoration 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 comes restoration restoration comes Let the weight of your glory cover us. Let the weight of your glory cover us. Let the truth. 
Oh, <laughs> 
good. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In two of those visions, I saw that Apostle launched into the nations on the wings of a song. I don't like to say it but we'll begin to see less of him he'll carry you along he'll carry you along <laughs> now this revival that is being spoken of is a covenant just like papa said is something that is written in the scrolls is a covenant we will take a song now that we Soar him and launch him. I didn't understand that first. I was singing and he walked away. I woke up and said, why will I sing? And I put, We're on a very high altar. The altar was such that you can't mount it with ladder. But you can find yourself just on that altar. Very high altar. I was like, how do you get to this altar? But if, you, if it's meant for you to be there, once you get there, you will just find yourself up. And I was there in a message and then I began to sing and as I sang Apostle walked away I woke up and said what's the meaning as time went on I understood we will launch him in a song to take him to the nations he's a covenant over our nation over Ben Wasted that the revival will break out from here again in that other vision that he seemed to be refreshed he seemed to be sleeping I said I thought you will know it once I sing you will get up and he wore boots very new boots and you know boots signify journeys his journeys will be long will be far that boot is so new and it's so hard it's so new hallelujah amen when I say apostle like that he represents the house here Amen. I intend with my own, in my own little corner, wherever I can reach, I'm moving with that movement. Amen. Amen. The revival that is coming is not something that it is a coincidence. It's actually a covenant of our God. And we're going to remind him of his personality in that dimension in a song. And we trust God that all of us will move in the spirit. I hope we, you know we are not in Makodi right now again. We are in translated. Amen. Hallelujah. And for some of us here, especially ladies, the ability to bet seasons will come upon you. You will push in the realm of the spirit until you begin to bet seasons. When you, when you groan and groan in the spirit and not trans with comforts that represent a season, you may you may do that for a while, and then God will give expression to your groaning. Hallelujah! And I believe that for many of the ladies in the house, where Apostle read, we will not. It will not be a portion to be careless daughters, to be women at ease. No, we will groan. Until we bet, until we back up this great move of God in the name of Jesus. The ladies, just place your hand upon your stomach as we call forth the grace to bet seasons. Let that grace rest upon you now. Let it be activated. Let it be activated. For the ladies, it's just so. It's, it's, you are not supposed to struggle to bet. Malika tosheke ba sata namada. Entosh ikala masenta la bakada. Rabados ikata ya bakada boseke ba. Maseka tosheke ba sato le bakada bose. Rabados ikata ya bakada boshe. Now, if it comes upon you, you can come out here and lay hands on you quickly before we move. If you feel some movement in your womb, it's not a physical womb, but you know there are movements inside of your, you know, stomach spiritually. Even if you're a man, you can come forward. But it's basically this one is for ladies, basically. 
Thank you, Jesus. Just lift her up. Let me pray for her. Let me pray. of this movement and join in faith because it's for all, all of us. Yahweh covenant keeping God Yahweh you're the covenant keeping God He's Revival has come. It has come. It will take us to the nations of the world. 
has broken out of the darkness. So, the sun. Ezekiel 47. I forgot to mention, as many of you as are not baptized in the Holy Ghost, please lose yourself. You will receive utterance. Even if no man lay hands on you, you will speak in tongues in the course of this meeting. Thank you, Jesus. Ezekiel 47. Afterward, he brought me again unto the door of the house. And behold, what has issued out from under the threshold of the house eastward. For the forefront of the house stood towards the east, and the waters came down from under the right side of the house, at the right side south of the altar. Then brought he me out of the way of the gate northward, and led me about the way without unto the altar gate by the way that looketh eastward and behold there ran out waters on the right side and when the man that had the lion in his hand went forth eastward he measured a treasure a, a thousand cubits and he brought me through the waters and the waters were to the angles again he measured a thousand and brought me through the waters and the waters were to the knees 
Again, he measured a thousand, and he brought me through, and the waters were to the lions. Afterward, he measured a thousand, and it was a river, and I could not pass over, for the waters were risen, waters to swim in, a river that could not be passed over. And he said unto me, Son of man, hast thou seen this? Then he brought me and caused me to return to the brink of the river. Now, when I had returned, behold, at the bank of the river were very many trees on the one side and on the other. Then he said unto me, These waters issue out towards the east country and go down into the desert and go into the seas, which being brought forth into the sea, the waters shall be healed. And it shall come to pass that everything that liveth, which moveth, whosoever the rivers shall come, shall live. And there shall be a very great multitude of fish, because these waters shall come thither, for they shall be healed. Everything shall live whither the river cometh. And it shall come to pass that fish shall stand upon it from Engedi, from Engali. There shall be a place to spread forth nets. The fish shall be according to their kinds, as the fish of the great sea, exceeding many. But the mighty places thereof, and the marshes thereof shall not be healed. They shall be given to salt. And by the river upon the bank thereof, on this side and on that side, shall grow all trees of meat, whose leaves shall not fade, neither shall the fruits thereof be consumed. He shall bring forth new fruits according to his months, because the waters they issued out of the sanctuary, and the fruit thereof shall be from it, and the leaf from it. So shall we be. Tonight we are a river, and wheresoever we go, anything that was dead will live. The seas shall be healed. We enter into the desert places, into rivers, into nations. Shall we go in the name of Jesus Christ? As the Lord begins to measure us tonight, as he measures our encounters, measures our submission, measures our consecration, a thousand cubits will be measured, will be measured for us. And if for some of you to be to the ankle, but our prayers will come to this meeting you will be able to reach to the knee the place of prayers, the place of total submission and the measurement again is taken of your submission and encounters to your loins where you begin to bet things in the spirit and then a point will come where you have yielded totally, it will become a river for you that will swim in completely and you will be a source of healing to all the nations wheresoever you touch, wheresoever you go, you shall be a healing and you shall bring forth fruits in your season, every Monster, the waters that God issue out of you, the what fishes shall live in him, and different kinds of fishes, the Bible says. So shall it be our portion in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's lift up our voice and thank the Lord. Let's appreciate the Lord. I think that time is over. Let's lift up our voice and appreciate God. Let's lift up his. Jesus, we say thank you. Jesus, we worship you. The weight of your glory. Let the weight of your glory. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let the weight of your glory. Let the weight of your glory Lord, as we leave this place, let the weight of your glory cover us. Let the life of your river flow in us. Let the power of your kingdom reign. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I can hear you saying things audibly to the Lord. Can you just appreciate him audibly? Audibly. You've been blessed tonight. Just say, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we bless your name. Lord, we worship your majesty. We lift up your holy name. Thank you, Jehovah. Be thou exalted forever. In the name of Jesus. 